UFO hearing sparks crypto degen frenzy, more than 50 alien shitcoins emerge. Following a recent hearing where a former military intelligence officer turned whistleblower disclosed that Congress lacks information about unidentified anomalous phenomena UFOs or unidentified flying objects UFOs, crypto degen swiftly seized the opportunity and created multiple UFO themed tokens to capitalize on. The news. The whistleblower alleged that executive branch agencies had withheld information about these mysterious objects for years. In his testimony on July 26 before the House Oversight Subcommittee on National Security, David Grush, a former Pentagon Task Force member on UAP and whistleblower, directly accused the U.S. government of concealing alien visitation to Earth. When questioned about information on extraterrestrial life, Grush stated that the U.S has likely been aware of non-human activity since the 1 1930 seconds. Following the viral hearing on July 26, more than 50 new alien UFO and extraterrestrial themed tokens known as memicoins have surfaced in the past 24 hours. Tokens like Aliens, UFO, and Alien have gained substantial attention from crypto degens on social media and search engines. However, there are concerns about potential scams associated with these memicoins, as some are believed to be honeypots designed to lure investors with the themes hype but with mechanisms preventing them from selling their tokens later. Fortunately, most of these tokens have experienced minimal trading activity, suggesting that the crypto community is cautious when dealing with these speculative assets. Despite the speculative nature of the new tokens, there were some modest performance levels. According to data from Dextel's, the UFO gaming token UFO saw a 2. 4% gain within hours, but as of now, the Memicoin is down by 0. 0.06% to 68,644 cents compared to its price 24 hours ago. Similarly, the Alien Phi token Alien experienced a 5. 9% increase after the hearing, but it has since dropped by 3. 48% to 4,146 cents compared to its price yesterday. Former intelligence officer and fighter pilots testify before House Oversight Committee on Unidentified Aerial Phenomena UFOs. David Grush, a former intelligence officer with 14 years of experience in the Air Force and National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, testified before the House Oversight Committee's National Security Subcommittee. He was accompanied by two former fighter pilots with first and experience of unidentified aerial phenomena UFOs, Ryan Graves, the executive director of Americans for Safe Aerospace, and retired Navy Commander David Fravor. During the hearing, Ryan Graves shared his encounters with UEPs on training missions. At the same time, David Fravor discussed his sighting of a large object captured in the famous Tic Tac video during a flight off the coast of California in 2004. All three witnesses agreed that the current reporting systems for UAP encounters need to be revised and that there is still a stigma for pilots and officials who seek more transparency about their experiences. As a former representative on Pentagon task forces investigating UAPs, Grush provided insight into a multi-decade UAP crash retrieval and reverse engineering program. He revealed that he had been denied access to these classified programs and accused the military of misusing funds to conceal these operations from congressional oversight. Moreover, Gresh disclosed that he had interviewed officials with direct knowledge of aircraft of non-human origin, some of which allegedly contain recovered biologics. The Pentagon has refuted Gresh's claims of a cover-up. According to Defense Department spokeswoman Sue Go, investigators have yet to find any verifiable information supporting the existence of programs related to the possession or reverse engineering of extraterrestrial materials, neither in the past nor currently. The statement, however, did not address UFOs that are not suspected of being of extraterrestrial origin.